no one's hungry, so there's no point in just sitting down, I guess. I keep wanting to pause, because I don't want to waste too much time. I'm just trying to take in this place. Shall we just start from the bottom? Oh, hold on, actually. It's really cold. It's very, very cold. In that case, let's make some more fuel. Oh, did I already make some? Oh, I already used it, didn't I? Shit. Well, I guess I gotta burn components? Let's explore first. Uh, let's go talk to Milena while we're here, actually. Hello again, Anja. How do you feel about your new home? I'm still adjusting. I guess I need more time to get familiar with everything. Sure thing. You can talk to Zoran if you haven't had the chance yet. He can tell you more about living here and our mission. Thanks. You know, when I was upstairs, I realized that I'd been here before. A long time ago, with my grandpa. Oh, yes. He used to visit us from time to time. He was a kind man. Such a delight to talk to. A font of tales from all over Vicenna. I miss him so much. Right now more than ever. Of course. Everyone who knew him does. But you know what? I'm sure he would be proud of you and the decisions you've made. Thank you. I hope you're right. So is this the tasks? So we have three quests. Two for securing Pagoran's heritage, and then one just for staying alive. Which in a way is related to securing Pagoran's heritage, because we can't secure it if we're dead. Have to build a second heater. Um, oh, these are important notes related to each quest. So for the heater... We have to build a second heater to heat the museum more efficiently. The temperature inside is dropping rapidly, so we should keep the temperature above 10 degrees to make sure this piercing cold won't hurt us. Move the collection to main storage. The right wing of our building was badly hit during the last bombings. It's mostly former office areas, but there are still some exhibits and documents being stored there. We need to secure them as soon as possible, as the structure looks weakened and may not last for long and gather items scatter scattered across Pagoran. Drag for more. Oh my god. Oh, there's a lot here. Alright, well this is the oldest entry. <laughs> Ranging from January to February. So just about a month. 22nd of January. Last night, Melena found out about our national library being bombed by the military. It's good that the, the safer... Ha Zohar manuscript was handed over to the museum. Wait, the Safer? No, I don't think it's Safer. Safer, probably? Safer Ha Zohar manuscript was handed over to the museum shortly before the war. So many other precious manuscripts and rare books were turned to ashes when the building was set on fire. Some people tried to form a human chain to extract the most valuable things, but the side street was in view of a sniper's lookout. Oh, He shot some people dead and the rest scattered in panic. Will the same thing happen to our museum? That is so sick, just sniping civilians trying to save artifacts of their heritage that you are burning. Oh, man. 24th of January. The Grozny army are targeting cultural buildings in the city now, no matter the associated religion or beliefs. They want to break our spirit. A church was hit during morning mass, and some of the people who died inside had lived through wars in the past. Just like the old church, they had witnessed and survived wars before, but not this time. 27th. After the attack on an old church last night, Melinda decided to visit other cultural buildings across the city. Some old documents were handed to her in a nearby synagogue but most of the precious items were either already in the museum or were ceremonial and required to stay inside. 30th of January. 
Rumors about a massacre at the synagogue reached us yesterday. The army didn't bomb the place. Instead, troops came in to kill the people inside and set the place on fire. They even went to the nearby Samuel Institute where many innocent people were hiding. Milena went to see if there was anything left inside, but she didn't manage to find anything among the ashes and corpses. Either the soldiers took everything with them or scavengers raided the place in the aftermath. 2nd of February. We found another person with some precious and important items. It's Anja, the granddaughter of an old friend of Milena's. She lives by herself in her old family house and has a small collection that she's been, uh, that's been gathered over generations. We should really provide her with some help. 13th of February. Anja decided to join the museum and risked a lot to bring her family collection. With Anja's help, it should be easier to deal with the consequences of recent bombings in the area. There's still a lot of work to do to secure our collection. So this one, move the collection to the main storage. That can be done all within here. That's not a go out and do it. That's just gather up stuff and put it into the main storage. Man, do I need wood. Uh, let's go talk with Zoran, was it? Yes. Hi, I'm Zoran. I'm really happy that you finally decided to join us. Well, it wasn't an easy decision to make, but I hope it can be of any help to you. <laughs> sure thing you can. There's plenty to do. We're sorting exhibits and documents, securing whatever we can. It's just two of you doing all this work? Just the two of us. And Milena is often out. She wanders all over Pagorn, trying to save as many artworks as possible. That sounds incredibly risky. Oh, you bet it is. But, well, that's Milena. She'd give anything to protect our heritage. Even her life. That's what she's like. You'll see when you get to know her better. She can be haughty and blinded by her mission at times. But she's a really good person. And she's trying to do the right thing. Memories of my family home make me cry so easily. Aww. Let's talk with Ruben. How are you feeling? I was afraid this trip might be bad for your health. Don't worry, Anja. I'll be fine. How about you? I hope you don't regret your decision. Well, it's certainly overwhelming at the moment. Leaving home, moving in here, and all the challenges still ahead. I think I need more time. Get some rest, Anja. You deserve it. I feel well enough to help you with your work. I'll rest later. For now... I think I need to loot. Let's go down into the basement and just try to loot stuff. So these, these things are gathering... That icon means like gathering up the work to put to the main storage, so that's what that is. Um, like, let's start looting that, and I wish I could more efficiently get all these three people to work, but I don't, like, I, unfortunately it's not a turn-based game, so I can't be that efficient. <laughs> let's start them on something long, shall we? Like, can you go work on that? Yeah. Sorry about your back. Hope it doesn't hurt too bad. Ooh, a bunch of wood. That is fantastic. I'll set Ruben to clearing rubble somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere else that has rubble, right? Can you get to that, Ruben? Looks like that is a yes. See, so yeah, I gather supplies, see if I can make a better furnace, or at least heat up our current furnace, because it is almost freezing. It's plus one. It's locked. Balls. Oh, there's good stuff down there. Um, oh, well, there's some stuff in here. Got 
got a decent amount of wood right now. I can make some fuel. This place is still so overwhelming. Oh, pile of stuff up here. Oh, and over here. Twenty-three materials? That's a lot. Oh, you can do it, Andre. Come on. Come on. Bunch more wood. Oh, excellent. How are you all doing? Great. Can you do anything? What is this? Broken shotgun. Ooh. Pure alcohol. Some clean water. Let's go make some fuel. What is that exactly? That they're doing. We can reinforce the roof over this area against collapse. One ceiling supports will be made. It's going to use up three boards, five components. Okay, yeah, definitely make that because that little health bar doesn't look good. Okay, it's getting kind of late, so I need to go make this stuff. You're doing great. You're doing great. Let's make five. Come on, you're almost finished, buddy. There you go. Should last for some time. Great. Why don't you get ready to stoke the fire? The day ends at 8 p.m.? So I want to make sure this is stoked before we go to sleep. Actually, can we upgrade this? We don't have a thermoregulator, do we? No, it's the one thing we're missing. So for now, just stoke it. Come on. Come on, Anja. Make it. Make the fuel. There we go. As long as it's stoked before we go to sleep, we should be fine. Alright, day's about to end. Alright. Hmm. It looks like we can finally go to the supermarket. Ooh, some food, some materials, lots of meds, some weapons, lots of parts. Yeah, I guess it was always too far away. Always the weather made it so we couldn't get there. And it looks like we're a bit closer from here than we were from... Our house? Actually, our house isn't even on the map, weirdly enough, but I think it was, like, down here. Anyway. Hmm... Uh, okay. We can only have, yeah, we can only have one person scavenge per night, unfortunately. It's gotta be Anja, because they have the most backpack space. Ruben is on meds, but they're severely ill, so I want them to sleep. And I think because of how much important stuff we have here, that there should always be a person protecting, guarding. I don't think Zoran is exactly the best person <laughs> for a guard. <laughs> You know, a pretty old person with back problems? Sorry, buddy. I prefer probably Ruben, I guess, because Anja's always got to go out, so Ruben would be the better choice of the two, but they're severely ill, so... Falls on you, Zeron. Maybe Melena's going to help guard as well, I don't know. Yeah, supermarket. It doesn't say any danger, so... I guess we don't have to worry about danger. I don't think I have any tools at all. Wood is a big priority for building stuff. I got a decent amount of wood, though, but I'd like more. Bandages. Raw food would be nice so I can cook more food. I only have one right now. Yeah, let's go. Hmm, there's someone here. The store was looted after the bombing, but we can still find something useful here. Yeah, I saw somebody inside, too. Of course, they're not an enemy. Can I talk with you? Who are you? Oh, it's a kid. Hey, kid. What are you doing all alone here? 
I'm looking for anything useful. Mostly things that can warm our place during the cold nights. I live in an orphanage nearby. Some kids there are falling ill as there's not enough food and meds. An orphanage? Is there someone taking care of you kids? Oh, yes. Our papa, Adam. He gathered us in his tenement house and put a roof over our heads. I'm glad to hear somebody's taking care of you. But did he send you here all by yourself? He's a good man, but it's not easy for him with all the problems he has to deal with. I'm the oldest kid there, so I'm helping to gather supplies when he has to stay with the others. I see. Maybe there's something I could do for you? You're so kind. Please visit us in the orphanage. Talk to Adam. He could really use some help. Alright, kid. I'll see what I can do. That's really cool. Yeah, this game just keeps expanding more and more. I'm surprised. Thermoregulator, yes. I'm stealing all your stuff, kid. Sorry. Won't open. What's in there? I can probably just get in there another way. And unbar it from the other side. God, there's so much stuff here. I'm definitely going to be coming back here at least one more time. Uh, okay, what do I want to prioritize? I have a bit of coffee. I have some cigarettes already. I'm going to dump that stuff. I don't really care about just a little bit of sugar. Nor one thing of parts. Actually, I'll take the coffee and the roll-up compared to those. Hmm, there's hiding spots, which is disturbing. That, to me, implies there's going to be danger later. Clear this out so it's easier to get here in the future. Super want wood, so let's dump the shell casings for another stack of wood. I have a good amount of components at home, actually, so I'm not going to take more components than this. At this point, I'm just looking for more rare stuff, like bandages or food or whatever. See if I can find anything special. I don't think I'll find food in a pile of rubble, though. I'm your best friend. What did it say? I'm your best friend. I kill you for nothing? Gee, thanks. That's uplifting. Oh! There's other people over here. Hey. Looks like we have a customer. It's your time to shut. Oh, fuck. They have a gun. Uh. Welcome to my, um store we have uh low prices very low prices oh yeah that's not shady at all okay best quality in town fuck that if they're not coming after me then you can just stay there fuck you creeps i'm gonna close this door Uh, let's dump the parts for some more wood. Suppose a shopping cart might be full of food. Bandages. Mm, let's dump the electric part. Now. 
This is locked, isn't it? Yep. Fertilizer. That's... Uh, I took my vegetables with me, and I have a lot of them, and each vegetable can be turned into a fertilizer. I'll leave that. Oh, and there's a lock on this door, too. I think we're good. Let's go. How's everybody doing? Andre has been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Okay, I guess nobody broke in. Yeah, the night was calm. Ruben's feeling much better. We just have to keep an eye on him. Okay, so we're still slightly wounded. I wonder if slight wounds can be recovered from by sleeping, but grave wounds need bandages. We're very hungry and we're tired, so we should probably go to bed. Uh, sick recovering. Okay, so I don't... Mm. Maybe we should take some herbal meds, see if they'll take them now. We definitely need food. You also need food, and you're tired. Okay, Anja is going to bed. Well, going near to bed. Ruben's in the bed. Will you take the herbal medicine? Yes. Okay, so I think it's not that there's like some special flag set for Ruben. We're just... Because they're like a special character, they have to take real meds. I think it's just that if you're beyond a certain level of sickness, you need real meds. But if you're only slightly sick, then herbal meds can work. I think that's how it works. Um, I should make some food. I guess in the meantime, let's just like start to collect these things and bring them back to the main hall. Wait, this icon's not for collecting them. What is this? Is it just looking at him? Aurochs Skull. The majestic Visenian Aurochs. Bos Primigenius Vicenis. I didn't pronounce that right. Roamed the forests of Vicenna since time immemorial. Hunting them was a royal privilege for centuries, but that didn't save them from extinction. The last Aurochs was hunted down in 1602. just makes me think of the great Aurochs of the steppe in Pathologic 2. Bos Turo. The Aurochs that made the world? Or was the world? Forgot exactly. Oh, um, let's actually, wait, wait, wait. Let's upgrade this thing right now. I know that the fuel, for whatever reason, just disappears when you upgrade it. So, let's not put any more fuel into it. Yeah, let's repair it. You're on meds. Let's do some cooking? Wait, actually, can we cook? I don't think we can cook. I think I need to make a cooking thing. Right? How, do, how does that work? Oof, it's getting real cold. Hold on, I need to make some fuel. Oh, it's already minus two. Oof. So there's a mission to make another heater, but does making an upgraded heater count? Because that might be good enough. Alright, that's full. Ruben's making some more. Let's loot with Saran. Let's go finish this up here. And then after they're done, let's see if we can make a thing to make food on. Maybe we have it and I just don't know where it is. <laughs> Crude stove. Yeah, I need to make that. Drag to place on an empty destination. How does that work? Huh. It just isn't really very clear about where it can go. Just drag it somewhere and it might go where you want. Okay. Well, I want this to be close to all the food and this. Like, this is the general sleeping area, medicine area, food area, workshop. So it should be there. 
Yeah, do I not have one already? What if I do and I just don't know it? It would have to be on the other side of the map. No. We don't have one. Right there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. What do we got behind here? More loot? More displays? The Broken Sword of Record II. After the victory at Drab Waters, King Record II married the daughter of one of the defeated nobles. As a sign of his commitment to peace, he broke his sword over a stone altar during the wedding ceremony. Since then, this blade has been used during the crowning ceremonies of Visenian kings. Hmm. I don't like the sound of this. After the victory, after King Record II was victorious, they married the daughter of one of the defeated nobles? That sounds like forced marriage. I don't think that was consenting. Twenty-three components and a lockpick. Heck yeah. Scepter of Eric the Second. No, not Eric. Er Eric the Second. Both sides of the civil war sought help abroad, and the neighboring countries obliged, with the end result being the installation of a puppet king supported by Rafinia. The new ruler, related on the distaff side to the old dynasty, took the name of Eric the Second and ordered a new set of regalia to replace the old one lost in fighting. Only the Golden Scepter survives to this day. Town Charter of Pagorin. The original Town Charter of Pagorin, issued by King Eric the Builder in 1312, granted the Burrs numerous privileges, clearly favoring them over the other subjects. Documents like this were instrumental in cementing the Visenian national identity and supporting Pagorin's claim to greatness. Oh, we have a new entry. A second entry for day 14. If there are people in need, I believe others should always help. But there's a war going on, and we've got a lot of work. What we're doing here isn't for us, but for the generations yet to come. I don't know if we can afford to shift the focus away from our main goal. There are some orphans in our neighborhood that could use our help. And I see how much that means to Anja. She did so much to help me, just a random stranger, and I'm sure she'd do the same for others. Anja is a very nice person. We've learned about a group of war orphans and a man named Adam who takes care of them in his old house. Being an orphan myself, I'd like to do whatever it takes to help them. We will. We're going there next night. Okay, you're done with this. Let's make some food! I'm just gonna make two. Um, oh, I need more fuel. I do have a lot of components. Yeah, I don't know. It feels inefficient to use components though, because it uses so many of them. I'll use components. That's all right. You're working on that. You're sleeping, which is good. Yeah, they're recovering from their slight wound. They're not tired anymore. Zoran should probably go into bed, too. I don't know what's more important. Zoran, who's tired, should go into bed, or Anja, who's slightly wounded. Probably the wound is more important. Okay, fuel done. So now I can make two... Wait. Oh, I don't have the raw food to make multiple batches of this. Crap. Oh, well. Well, I guess I gotta have you get up out of bed and just like... Oh, we already ate the canned food. Hmm. Should I just start eating some raw vegetables? Alright, back to bed with you.
We're not horribly hungry yet, so I do want to wait to see if I can find more raw food because it's more efficient than just eating the vegetables, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, you're almost done. What should I have you do? Maybe clean up some of the... Oh, actually, let's go talk with Milena. Thank you for help. Th th what? <laughs> Covered up. Are you feeling any better? Yes, I'm okay. Good to hear. So, we still have to build another heater. Even though, honestly, this one heater seems fine. But, yeah, let's go grab the stuff down here. Oh, we also have a lockpick that we can use. I love that there's proper images and descriptions of all of these different cultural artifacts. It feels nice that they're not just generic, like, you know, important cultural artifact. They're actually like very specific things that you can look at and read about and understand exactly what they are. Collection of postcards mid 20th century. An album with postcards dating from the middle of the 20th century part of the collection of a deceased local postcard collector, donated by his son. Political writing of Ivo Nadan. Ivo Nadan was a distinguished Vicenian political thinker, considered one of the founding fathers of... What does that say? Uh, something who in his writings forged the concept of modern Vicenian and Groznian patriotism. He lived to see his idea of common statehood realized, although his dream of full equality for both peoples remained mostly on paper. Yeah, so we'll secure that all. They're going to take a box over and do some stuff. That's going to take a little while. Ah, you're done with this? St. Pontelion statue. This unique 14th century statue is a work of renowned sculptor Nico Gatica. Born in Krasnavia and banished for theft, he rose to prominence in Pagorin, where he spent most of his life and is considered a Vicenian artist. Seven wood, that's great. Do I need to add more support beams? I guess I don't think I can add more support beams to this. Just yet. The Cassiodor Chronicle. A copy of a chronicle written by Cassiodor, a Vicenian monk living in the 13th century. This late 13th or early 14th century manuscript is the oldest surviving copy of the lost original, but is unfortunately damaged and missing 30 pages. So I can only fit one in a box. The other's also size two, and I only have size three in total. So, let's grab that. Ruben's doing their thing. I want to watch him put it back. Satisfying. It's getting pretty late. Let's see if we can grab another one. We got about an hour left. Oh my god, there's a lot here. Whew. Oh, this is all of our stuff. The stuff that we took from our home. Oh, these are all so important. Let's take the ones that are marked as significant as the first ones we take. Um, Talk ceremonial items are size three. I think that's all we're getting done today. I should probably stoke the fire. Maybe. The temperature is okay. I don't think I'm going to have time to. I don't even think... Zoran is going to make it to put that stuff back into place. Sorry, Zoran. What does that mean? Like, are they going to wake up tomorrow and... We can just, like, finish putting them back there? Or, or what? Are they just going to be holding that box all night? <laughs> Okay.
Okay, Andrea's going scavenging, of course. Hmm. Ruben's gonna stay in bed because they're still sick. And Zeron is once again be gonna be on guard. Alright, let's go to the orphanage. A boy looking for fuel in the supermarket told us about a place for war orphans ran by a man called Adam. Things are bad there, so maybe we should go and see if we can help them. They said they were looking for fuel. Should I bring some? Yeah, we'll bring some. <laughs> 